I couldn't wish to wear anything bad. So thank you so much for your prayers. That was 37-year-old Kill Double Hill's mother of two, Trisha Lawrenson, on April 29th, two days after her third double lung transplant at Duke. Oh, I remember just waking up and feeling really good um, and breathing well on my own. Trisha was born with cystic fibrosis and was the 12th American, the sixth at Duke, to receive the rare and risky surgery. I lost a lot of muscle mass, so going into rehab that first month was really difficult just to regain some of the muscle that I lost. And then my breathing was a little harder because my diaphragm was paralyzed. But after three months in Durham, she came home Thursday to the Outer Banks, off oxygen and doing well despite some organ rejection. Every transplant leaving the Outer Banks, I have the thought like I might not be coming back. And so to be able to actually come back to that is always such a relief. And as I was walking up the path of the walkway, and saw the ocean, the first thing I saw was a porpoise jump out of the water. And that to me was like such a gift. Now the family of four must be extra careful, taking every precaution due to COVID-19. Trisha has been living for 12 years in an immunosuppressed condition. So we're always more careful than most people. A miracle of modern medicine, she's grateful for every waking breath and a donor who gave her the gift of life. I've had 12 beautiful, years here on earth because of my three donors and I'm so grateful for that and there's nothing I could ever say or do to to make up for that except to live a life that I can be proud of. I'm Chelsea Donovan for News 3.